For this video, we're going to be talking about the uses of energy. Once you are done with this video, you should be able to complete your energy of uses, uses of energy choice board and the uses of energy page in your packet. So, first things first, two things you got to know about energy. We cannot create energy. We also cannot destroy energy. That means that all energy that is on Earth right now has always been on Earth. The energy only transfers, meaning solar power turns into electrical power. Um, light turns into mechanical. We're going to talk about six different forms of energy. First, we are going to talk about solar, then mechanical, light, electrical, thermal, and sound. Let's get started with solar energy. You know two uses of solar energy. Very simple, heat and light. The sun, <clears throat> excuse me, the sun heats the earth and also provides light so that we can see during the day. Let's see, if you use solar panels, you can create electricity. And you might remember, I will fix that in a minute. And you might remember when, oh, it was right, almost right before we got, uh, got out for school for spring break, we talked about photosynthesis. The sun was a part of that. Plants use photosynthesis to make sugar. Plants use the sun to make sugar, which makes food for the plant. There is a video over it, and I will post that somewhere either below in the description or add a link to the video. Next, we'll talk about mechanical energy. It is just power from motion. Or you can also describe it as when an object is moving. For example, we have a clock. The hands of a clock are the mechanical part of its face. You have gears and such behind it that help it, uh, that help it move that are also mechanical energy, but on the face of a clock, you're always going to find the hands. Those are from moving, they have power from motion, they are mechanical energy. Our next energy we're gonna talk about is light. We use light to see. We use it so things can be seen, and light itself can be seen. It travels in waves. I don't think I have a video showing um, the wavelengths of light. Sorry, we'll get one up sometime. And also, it can produce heat if left on or at a high enough rate. Electrical energy, you guys know a lot about. Basically, anything that can be plugged in is using electrical energy. So, we can heat homes with it. That looks weird. We power our devices like phones. And we can make it with a few different other energies that we're going to talk about. We've already talked about solar energy and how that can be used to make electricity. We can use wind energy. We can use fossil fuels. 
And then as you know, batteries have their own electricity from the charge of the electrons within the chemical makeup of that battery. Thermal energy is just heat energy. It is created by moving particles. When those particles move, they create friction. which is what produces heat. When you rub your hands together, you are creating friction, rubbing against one another. The, your, the friction that you, excuse me, <clears throat> the friction you create will cause heat. You can feel that on your hands. You touch somebody else, your hands are gonna be warmer to them. Thank you.